story now. The warning about Stephen Magis came out before the sun came up this morning that he's a dangerous man who needs to be caught. Well, tonight he is sleeping in the Boone County Jail, accused of killing his girlfriend. It took quite a bit to get him there. It all started at 4.51 this morning with a domestic dispute call in Goshen. Police found Natasha Wilson dead inside a home on Normal Lane, and that's when the manhunt for Magus began. It came to an end seven hours later in Walton. Now, a big part of the reason Magus is in jail tonight is Gerald Hinners. He happened to see the story on Local 12 and then saw the car that police were looking for. Local 12's Brad Underwood is outside the jail with what Hinners did next. Brad. Well, hi, Kimmy. Yeah, you talk about uh, that viewers, not only his memory, his observation skills on the highway, plus the courage to call police and stay uh, behind him until more help could come. And that's why Majors is here at the Boone County Jail tonight on the coming days, expected to be transferred back to Claremont County to face at least a murder charge on his girlfriend. Uh, and, you know, we talked to one of his former neighbors tonight uh, when he used to live in Blanchester, who said, He's not surprised that he's accused of this and that he remembers the first time he met him, he knew Mages was a bad guy. The capture of the accused murderer is made possible thanks to the memory of Gerald Heiners. I was traveling south on I-75 and I noticed from this morning news that there's someone in Goshen Township committed a murder and it was a black Taurus with the license plates FRH2953. Well, all of a sudden I look over and there is the black Taurus next to me in the outside lane. So Heiners calls 911, follows Mages until police catch up at the Richwood Road exit on I-75. He stopped at the ramp, turned right, and the police, about a mile later, caught up with me. I flagged him around and the chase pursued. Before Mages and Natasha Wilson began living in the home where she was found dead, the two called this trailer home off of Ramsey Drive in Blanchester. Staying in this mobile home didn't have any electric or any water. And he'd just come and go for a while. But Bill Palmer says Mages was nothing but trouble. At that time, everybody around here says, yeah, we don't want him. Mm -hmm. And we did everything we could to kind of give him the idea that he wasn't wanted, but we just didn't really deal with him or anything like that. In addition to domestic violence calls, forgery convictions, Mages was convicted of having sex with a minor back in 2008. He's a bum. That's all I can say. You know, if you're a sex offender, and you're running away from the cops. The, the sheriff had been out here several times looking for him and his girlfriend. Now, in addition to the Ohio charges that we're looking at here, felonious assault and murder, here in Kentucky, he's facing a couple of traffic citations, traffic charges, as well as a charge of freeing, fleeing from police. Reporting live tonight in Boone County. Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Cammie. All right, Brad, thank you. And Magus will face an extradition hearing. The date and time have not been 